I have a feeling my camera is gonna shake the whole time because you are literally on my couch You're sitting here on my couch with me imagine that you're like, I don't know sipping on some Beverage of your choice and we're gonna talk about what I'm gonna read this weekend and this coming week Hi everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a more kind of relaxed video I think that I'm trying not to move because my tripod is literally on my couch so every time I make a movement it moves but anyway um I saw this video from uh, um books uh, books like whoa I will link her channel up above and she basically does this thing where she does Friday reads now usually on Friday I would normally have class but I managed to get my schedule so that I have most of Friday free and it is the most beautiful fall day today like it's perfect fall my birthday is next week I know I keep saying that my birthday is next week I'm just saying it because I'm excited and speaking of I'm just gonna give you like a general life update um I just came back from a doctor's visit I went to my psychiatrist and it was the first time that I go to my psychiatrist where he thinks that I am doing great like he really thought he was like I am very happily surprised I'm very like satisfied with your progress they didn't change any of my meds instead they told me to keep taking it and everything is going well so that's really good I also had a therapist appointment that also went really well and overall things are okay I just it's been so long since things are okay that it's such a like I've been sleeping a lot oh my cat is like what 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 are you doing? Come here. Here she is. Wanna be on camera? You haven't seen her in a while. But anyway, things haven't been good in some time. And now that they are, I find myself kind of like hyper relaxed. Like, you know, after you get a massage or something, I just feel so weird, but it's really good. Anyway, um, let's get right into the book stuff. Um, if you skipped all of that, welcome back. <laughs> and here are the books that I kind of plan on reading this weekend and this coming week. Now, I finished The Obelisk Gate. I, it took me by surprise, the ending. I didn't know that it would end like that, but I really liked it. Uh, we'll see, we'll talk more about that in my wrap up. But I have here The Stone Sky. I really want to finish the series. It gives me such a sense of completion to finish series and I am really, really, really enjoying the series. The only thing is that the more you get into the series, the less sci-fi it gets and the more like mm, fantasy it gets. And as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of fantasy and it does have those fantastical elements that I tend not to enjoy where it's like a bunch of characters, a bunch of names, a bunch of things going on and I just don't like that. But whenever we focused on the characters that I do like, I was having a great time but definitely like, the series does like dr go on a fine line of is this sci-fi is this fantasy and I think there is no answer I think it's a little bit of both I so far I love it I, I just MK Jemisin's like even the books of her that I haven't liked that much I still her writing is superb it like you know those people that were put on earth to do something I think this this woman was put on earth to write amazing books so I have this on my TBR and I do want to get to it but I'm not sure I'm getting it to it this weekend because it's like so fall right now it's so spooky misty I like I keep looking over here because my windows over here I'm not sure that I I'm going to get to this right away but part of me does want to just so that I can finish the series and like mark that off my list keeping in mind the whole spooky season element that we have going on with the weather I have three spooky books we have the silent companions by Laura Purcell I am very annoyed that because I was gonna read this through audible but they don't have it anymore in my country like it's blocked in my country and that sucks but I might just sit down and read I haven't read a book physically in a really long time so I might just sit down and read this spooky book now so I I, I kind of want to but here's the thing this is not very long I mean it's actually it's 361 pages but I haven't read physically in so long that I'm kind of scared to 
go into a book and then like feel that I'm making no progress or something, you know? But, you know, if I read 150 pages a day, which is my always my, my goal to read 150 pages, I can finish this like in two days, two and a half days, <laughs> you know? So maybe I'll pick this one up. Sorry if things look a little bit different. I had to do a little bit of a battery change. Not a little bit of a battery change, but a battery change. Um, the one that I'm most likely going to pick up this weekend is uh, Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. This is the shortest one on my list. It's 300 pages. I could get through this this weekend. I'm really looking forward to reading this. Finally, I really want to get through those Daphne du Maurier books. And this one just seems like such a cozy, um, cold, scary read, you know? So I, I think these two kind of have the heads up on the other ones. I, I mean, I, I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is that this is basically going to be be my weekend my friday reads like friday saturday and sunday but also my week long reads which i'm not going to vlog for the week because um sorry gotta move you a little bit i finally have gone back to work like working in my office so that's really exciting for me i'm very happy to be back because working from home seems like fun at the beginning and then by the end i was like this is no longer fun so anyway, the third, not the third, the fourth book that I have that I might be picking up is The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding. I'm really looking forward to reading just like a nice little middle grade scary story. I love middle grade scary stories because they like speak to the fears of your like the, your inner child and that's the time in life when you're like most scared of things and I think that if a, a a good writer writes a middle grade you are actually scared of it <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense to anyone but me but yeah i'm really looking forward to this one i'm looking forward to all of these books i just i'm looking forward to getting through this month's tbr like i really 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 want to get through it i want to like get back into the reading that i like to do which is basically you know um reading more than two books <laughs> because i'm not feeling well but as you saw i'm feeling well so these are the options that we have i'm excited for all of them honestly i think i made this video because i thought that it was going to clear up which one i'm going to read first and the reality is i am just as confused as i was before <laughs> <laughs> I want to like do you ever wish you had like more than one brain so that you could read more than one book at the same time that's the feeling that I have now I've also been doing some stuff with my friends outside of reading I know crazy I do things outside of reading but um yeah overall I'm having a good day I had a really good doctor's visit really good therapy visit things are fine in my life for once like I feel like it's been such a long time of just shit over, like shit and then on top of shit and then piled on shit and then more shit. And now finally it's starting to calm down. And I guess that's the best birthday present Mother Nature can give me. <laughs> anyway, um, that's all I wanted to say. It's a really, I hope this is a really quick video just talking about the books that I plan to read. Hopefully I get through these during the weekend and the coming week and then next Friday, not next Friday, this is, I'm filming this on a Friday but you're going to see it on a Saturday and the next Saturday you'll see the books that I'm reading, what I finished and stuff, you know, not a wrap up but um, like a, I don't know, update of my life, of everything. <laughs> so yeah i hope that everyone out there is staying safe i hope that you're having a great weekend and as always i leave you with a reminder that i post every monday wednesdays and fridays and that i appreciate each and every one of you that watches any of my videos really thank you so much and as always i will see you in another galaxy far far away even though i'm not reading any science fiction this weekend bye